Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant, I have a sore throat. What should I do? This is Bertala Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the medical teachers. I woke up in the morning with a sore throat. I immediately turned to my voice assistant to ask for help. Hi, Emily. Hi, Bertalan. How can I help you today? I think I have a sore throat. What should I do? That doesn't sound good. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Could you point the camera at your throat? Sure. You have a sore throat. Nothing serious. You should have a fruit salad and a yogurt for vitamin intake. Camille tea with honey and throat drops for easing the pain. Oh, thank you. I will monitor your vital signs through your skin patch, and if I discover any change, I will make an appointment to your doctor. Uh, shall I work today? It would be best for you to rest. But don't worry we will take care of this together. You are in good hands. Wow. Chatbots will be the first line of primary care in a decade. They will be able to respond to simple medical questions with useful advice. They can track patients' health, parameters and help make sense of their data. They support medication management and give recommendations about drugs. In some cases, chatbots can also connect patients with clinicians for diagnosis or treatment. During the entire process, there is no need for patients to go anywhere to wait for medical help or to have the feeling of being left alone. As for doctors, since health chatbots are the first contact point, for patients, the number of patients in the waiting rooms will decrease, so will the amount of paperwork. There is more time for patient-doctor communication in more serious cases and more room for meaningful consultations. It all sounds great, but what about our privacy? How much should these artificial intelligence supported platforms know about us? Who else could have access to our very personal health information? Everyone knows any device can be hacked, and I certainly don't want unauthorized people to have access to my data. How can we safeguard the huge amount of data we generate through smart devices? Moreover, can we ensure that AI does what we tell it to do? Can they summarize properly all we know about sore throat? Nobody has the answers for these difficult questions, but I'm sure that the era of talking algorithms is here. And if that's not, not enough for concern already, the Google Assistant was able to have a natural sounding conversation with an employee of a hair salon to make an appointment. Please let me know what you think about that.